Now live from Studio 550, it's McGraw in the morning on the Big 550 KTRS. 751, and over the weekend, St. Louis was the coolest place in the country to be. It was part of the Clinton Global Initiative. President Clinton came in and was interviewed by Stephen Colbert for the Colbert Report. That is uh, covered by our next guest, St. Louis Post-Dispatch reporter, Kevin McDermott, who was there all weekend. Kevin, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Uh, why did what was the deal? Why, why was this Clinton Global Initiative here at at Washington? Well, basically, for six years they do this. For the last six years, they've done this at a different campus every year, and Wash U, you know, was uh, up. Was up basically, yeah. And they're in pretty good company. It, uh, it's a pretty big coup for Wash U to get this. It's isn't a it? big deal, yeah. the The chancellor was uh, was out and about, making sure that everybody knew about it, and they they really pulled out all the stops for it. Yeah, uh, and then I guess the icing on the cake when it, when it was all said and done was Colbert gets to come in Colbert. and then interview Clinton. That was that was really the headliner, and and the funny part is that really has nothing to do with the mission of the Clinton Global Initiative, but as as Chelsea Clinton put it at one point, you know, this has to be fun, too. It can't just be a bunch of do-gooders. Right. So he came and spoke to the WashU students. I mean, what what was the idea of this Clinton Global Initiative yeah, coming here? Yeah, essentially what they do is they try and encourage students to better the world through invention and innovation and coming up with new ideas, and then they try to help them find funding. And you have to apply to go to it. It's sort of this, uh, it's almost a camp uh, that lasts for a weekend. And in this case, they had about 1,200 students from all over the world. About 200 of those were WashU students. And essentially, you have this, you know, ex-president trying to inspire people to, to uh, you know, to pick up their ideas and make the world better. Whether you like him or not, he's a pretty interesting character. He he is an interesting character. There's no question about that. What did he say? Did he say anything about the future of uh, Washington Uni- University? Whether it's the uh, human genome project or this new bio world that's out there? You know, they didn't talk specifically a lot about uh, the WashU projects. They did talk quite a bit about Twitter. And, you know, we have the Twitter founder, uh, Jack right. uh, uh, Dorman, here. And uh, uh, he was interviewed by Clinton at one point, And they uh, uh, had, had quite a conversation. Clinton at one point admitted that he has never tweeted much because he was afraid of it. He, he thinks he'll be embarrassed if nobody tweets back. Uh, he says he's going to try to do more of that. I don't know if Clinton and a Twitter account is such, <laughs> is such a good idea. But, but Dorsey was interesting. I mean, it was, it was, it, he, he, he talked about Twitter in terms of connecting uh, people around the globe who might not have other ways to talk to each other, and it sort of worked its way right into the whole Clinton Global Initiative idea. Right. Well, I mean, people roll their eyes at Twitter who don't quite understand it, but it has changed the world, and it helped oh, bring no. on the Arab Spring. Yeah, exactly, yeah. exactly. Um, all right, so you wrote a, it was either a story or a blog post over the weekend in which you made a story out of going to the bathroom. Yeah, they. Uh, I, I caught a little bit of flack for that, and I, I got to tell you, I wasn't the only one who was who was making an issue out of this. Th- there was a very weird sort of attempt to control media access to the to the students, and this wasn't really a security thing. Security was actually kind of light, but they were escorted. If you had to use the bathroom as a reporter, they would escort you from this isolated room one by one and then stand there and wait for you until you came out of the bathroom and escort you right back. I was hearing about this from national media bloggers saying, what the heck? I mean, is this for real? Right. And so the idea was because they were afraid for you that you'd open a door you shouldn't open up, or what was the reason? I'm not really sure. We never did get an explanation. I don't think it was security because people were wandering around Kind of at will, except the reporters. So they would not allow r- r- reporters open access to this wonderful, brilliant idea right. that the we should spread and go forth and spread our wings and tell the world about this. Heaven forbid they let a reporter actually talk about it. Yeah, there was a little irony there. They uh, they they were very concerned with controlling the message. There wasn't much mystery about that. Yeah. Now, so, so you got grief from the Clinton people? Oh no, the Clinton people didn't say anything directly. Uh, some Clinton fans responded to the blog and. It sort of reminded me readers don't necessarily care about, you know, the trials and tribulations of putting the news together, and maybe they shouldn't. I right. don't know. But. Yeah. Now, you also, they didn't give Clinton, uh, we didn't have access to to interview him either. We didn't, and, and that was a little upsetting. We uh, we It looked for a while like we were going to get an interview in advance of this, and frankly, the Clinton Global Initiative people were kind of trying to control the scope of the interview before it started, when we wouldn't agree to that, the whole thing sort of just fell apart. They said they didn't have time in the end, so right. But they had time for Stephen Colbert. Uh, they did have time for Stephen Colbert, and that was and that was very entertaining. I got to tell you. Yeah. So so you were there while Colbert did did oh, yeah. the interview. Yeah. Um. And Colbert's an interesting character, and not to get too, um, in the weeds in this, 
he, it, it's a it's a comedy sketch, half comedy, half real. I yeah, guess. I mean, it, he plays a character essentially. He pretends to be a an, an extreme right wing patriot and and sort of goes to the you know goes to the nth degree in, in what he thinks an extreme right wing patriot would say. At one point, it was really funny. He was when he he would only talk to Clinton through his reflection in a handheld mirror because he didn't want to be captured by his spell. He said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how did Clinton? Was this the first time Clinton was interviewed by Colbert? I I, I believe so. I mean, right. I I don't know that for sure, but he uh, it, it was it was a little bit odd because Clinton obviously was trying to sort of play along, but also was trying to get the serious message out there. And Colbert kept at one point. Colbert said, "What do you think is the major problem in the world?" And Clinton said something about the treatment of girls and. Colbert said, well, I would have gone with ATM fees. <laughs> and and uh, Chelsea was here all, all weekend long? Yeah, she's uh, she's kind of the heir apparent to this thing. She's she's frequently at, and this is the university portion of the Clinton Global Initiative, and yeah, she's heavily involved in it. There, there's a picture, I think it was in the Post, it had, had to have been in, in the Post, where they, they have kids in the fields digging ditches or digging up something. Was you that know, part of it as well? There's sort of a Peace Corps aspect to this, and they've got some spinoff programs. And, and the thing you're talking about, I'm not sure exactly what portion of it is right. that is. But, yeah, I mean, this is sort of – and this is sort of what they're talking about, various ways to help, you know, different parts of the world. So the Clinton Global Initiative comes to Wash U. We're not allowed to interview him. We're not allowed to see him. Um, you weren't allowed to go to the bathroom alone. <laughs> we sure are glad they came to St. Louis. Right. Yeah. Well, thank goodness. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> all right. And then, did you get a chance to talk to Stephen Colbert at all? You know, not. They, they didn't give us personal access to Colbert. No. Yeah. Did, did they mention anything about his sister running for Congress? I was hoping there would be something about that, and there wasn't. Nothing. Nothing. So nothing that I heard. So no. basically, you're going to go back to the post dispatch newsroom and say you didn't really get any story no, whatsoever. No, we got. <laughs> I, I was entertained for a while by Stephen Colbert, who was, I have to say, very funny. He is very funny, but this is what kills me. Why come to Missouri and and not spend any time with Missourians? I just uh, don't yeah, understand that, it. Yeah, uh, that 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 actually is is kind of the thing that sticks in our craw a little bit about it. But you know, he's a private citizen now. When you get, come right down to it, the president. Yeah. So you know. Uh, Kevin McDermott, great stories all weekend long over the Clinton uh, Initiative. Thanks for coming in. Thank you. You got it. And uh, if you missed any portion of this, we'll have it up on KTRS uh, TV with pictures and video and everything else. So Kevin McDermott, Post-Dispatch reporter covering the Clinton Global Initiative at WashU all weekend long.